so excited. Today we're gonna to be talking about um, what I eat when I really wanna lose weight, you know, when I focus, and what to eat when you've finished eating for the day, you're really not supposed to eat any more today, but you're hungry, and if you're like me, it's hard to go to bed hungry. So here we go. Okay, so after eating all weekend at Disney a couple weekends ago, I mean, I did flower and garden, and I ate an onion tart, and I ate a really big macaron, and I had a little bit of booze, tea it, and I had sugary, you know, violet lemonade, I had a little milkshake again, and I did have some protein, I did have some fruit, but I ate a lot of stuff I don't usually eat. And even though it was small portions, it was there. And I ate French toast that weekend, Okay, so that's bread I don't normally eat. So I definitely gained some weight. I gained some numbers on the scale. I gained six pounds in one weekend. This is not the norm. Um, I didn't binge, I just kinda ate what I don't normally eat. I just tried a little bit of this, tried a little bit of that, and enjoyed myself, okay? Then I said, okay, it's time to get back on track. So what did I do? First thing I did was I went to the grocery store. Shopping is important. Take out the time to go to the grocery store. It will save you. It'll rescue you from going to takeout, rescue you from eating your kids' snacks or anybody else in your house who eats garbage food, eating their snacks when you shouldn't, or just stuffing your face with cheese um, so, or peanut butter, things that are okay to eat, but you can eat a ton of them and, of course, not to lose weight anyway. So what did I do? I went to the grocery store and I stocked up. I grabbed myself chicken, lettuce, um, vet, other vegetables, I eat a lot of frozen vegetables, whatever frozen mix. I love the Asian mixes of vegetables with the um, water chestnuts and the broccoli and all that. So no mushrooms, eh. Frozen mushrooms never come out right, am I right? So I grab those, I grab frozen peas, because even though peas are a legume, they are a healthy legume. Like you can eat some of them, and even though if you're doing Weight Watchers, it's got points in it, it's still a really healthy calorie. So I love peas. Um, I buy canned albacore tuna, the really good, solid, low-sodium tuna. I love tuna. And of course, you don't like tuna, don't get tuna. Um, but you can also you know, hook yourself up with fish instead of canned tuna. But I grabbed canned tuna. It's cheap. And what I like about it, too, is it's not going to go bad on me. So tuna is one of those things that I leave at the, by the end of the week when I'm like, my chicken is gone and any of my fresh, my fresh um, proteins are gone because I cooked them up first. I'm gonna go to canned tuna later. We'll talk about what I do with canned tuna. Okay, so I get those proteins, vegetables, fruit. My favorite fruits are bananas, organic bananas, and I love Granny Smith apples. But you grab your fruit, anything you want. Just know that if you wanna lose weight, you don't wanna eat more than two bananas a day. Even though banana, again, is super healthy for you, if you've looked into bananas, they definitely have a lot of carbs, a lot of sugar. So what I've noticed what helps for me is keeping them to a minimum of two a day. Don't eat tons of bananas. Not to lose weight, not to lose weight the way I did. Okay, and let's see what else. Tea, I love herbal tea. I stock up on herbal tea. I especially like any kind of chamomile with honey or sleepy time with honey in the tea because it tastes like honey without adding honey to your, to your drink and you don't have to worry about those extra calories. There's also a sleepy time vanilla, which I really like. And when you, know, you have someone in your house making desserts and stuff, or there's dessert in your house, or your kids have desserts, or you make desserts for people, it's nice to have that vanilla. It helps me and I don't eat the dessert. Um, I'm big on getting unsweetened applesauce. I get two big containers of unsweetened applesauce. I like the Walmart brand because it's in a plastic container and sometimes I eat out of the container. Um, <laughs> I don't enjoy the glass, the glass containers. Um, I like to get pickles. I like to get um, Parmesan cheese. This is because I'm going to make other things that are more like spaghetti flavors without actually having noodles. I get um, the sauce of choice. Of course you can make your own sauce, but I do not do this. So if you don't make your own pasta sauce or red sauce or red gravy, then I recommend getting a sugar, uh, no sugar added or low sugar sauce. If you can't find the low sugar, no big deal. Just know that you'll definitely want to pay attention to how much sauce you use because store-bought sauce has lots of added sugar. Um, let's see. And I'm walking through the grocery store. Yogurt, of course. I like to get Greek yogurt. I like to get Dannon, I believe it's Dannon. Dannon triple, it's like a black label. The whole thing is black. Um, triple yogurt. I get a big vanilla one and um, 
you know, the man gets them too. He gets the little ones that are different flavors. There's like a berry and there's strawberry. Um, let's see. And I'm walking through the store. I'm walking through the store. Sweet potatoes are a big one, but I don't eat a lot of sweet potatoes when I'm trying to lose weight. But you can eat sweet potatoes, especially if you're going to have meals for the rest of your family that are potatoes or french fries or any of that stuff that sounds really good. Sweet potatoes will save you. And of course, if you can switch up everyone's meal, that's awesome. I've gotten it down to a science where I make my own meals, my husband takes care of himself, um, and then the child has her food, or I make something that's for them, and I switch out a couple of things. So, that's my grocery store mainly, and I could do a video, but you know how much work that is to go through the grocery store with a video camera? <sighs> but I can. If you want me to go through the grocery store with a video camera, just let me know. But, um... It's, pretty, it's a pretty plain diet. So now what I do is every morning I eat the same breakfast and I cut up my apples. And if you go to my Instagram page, which is Rebecca's other side, then, and I'll put the link, I post what I eat sometimes. So I've cut up two apples, I microwave them with cinnamon, and I microwave them for a couple minutes till they're soft but not mushy. And then I add a Power Crunch protein bar, a vanilla one, and then I add some of my vanilla yogurt and I mix it up and that is a, if you're doing Weight Watchers, I believe it's a six or seven points. You know, they changed the point system again and I haven't done it since Weight Watchers point plus, which was six points, six, seven points. But um, anyway, so I eat that for breakfast and then for lunch, I'm going to usually have something yummy. So whether I have, I'll cut up a bunch of lettuce and I will cut up three pickles and I have shredded carrots that I add and then I take a can of tuna and the can of tuna I eat the whole thing. So I, you know, drain it, mix it with super light mayonnaise and salt, pepper, whatever seasoning, sometimes onion powder, garlic powder. I put, bay, um, what is that? Seasoning for fish. Old Bay. I put Old Bay in it. It depends on really what you want it to taste like. Old Bay is cool. It kind of makes it taste like a crab cake. And mix it up. And that's what I use for dressing is the tuna. And mix it up really good. And the, you know, the vinegar from the pickles comes out. I like kosher dills. No butters for me. I don't like sweet pickles. Plus there's sugar in those. So kosher dills, mix it up. Lovely, lovely salad. Any vegetables you want. Celery, just stay away from those olives and things. Just lots and lots of vegetables. No salad dressing. Again, this video is about losing weight quickly and because those six pounds I gained at Disney over the weekend was not fat it was water retention from sodium alcohol and sugar I don't usually eat so I wanted to get rid of it quick so I had that for lunch and lots of water I'd fill up my cup is about this big I think it's 20 ounces and I would have a big one with breakfast big one in the morning big one with breakfast these are waters by the way <laughs> big one um, one dirt while I'm working I would drink another one I'd have one with lunch and then on top of that I would have a cup of hot tea which is more water and again it's herbal tea so it's more water herbal tea with my breakfast herbal tea in the afternoon anytime I want something sweet I'll grab an herbal tea and again I work at home so of course if you don't work at home I recommend making sure you have herbal tea at work that you can drink most places of business will have a little kitchen area for you to use some hot water and a hot, you know, an electric hot kettle. Those things are like 20 to $30. That's what I use. I don't even need to put on the stove. So for a snack, I get a bowl, a cereal bowl, and I fill my cereal bowl with unsweetened applesauce. And I'll do one of two things. I'll either add cinnamon and eat it as is, or I will mix one to two tablespoons of powdered peanut butter. And there's many, many different brands. PB2, if you know what I'm talking about, but there's other brands of powdered peanut butter. This is a powdered peanut butter, has no oils in it. And you usually mix it with water to make it peanut butter. I don't at that moment. I actually sprinkle it onto my applesauce and there's some mage protein in there. And it does not mix with the applesauce. It doesn't make your applesauce peanut buttery. What it does do is it stays clumped and those molecules stay together, almost like it's not mixing, but when you eat it, you get a mouthful of peanut butter and apple at the same time. Or you could make peanut butter out of the PB2 and cut up an apple, but the applesauce is creamy and cold and it reminds me of my brain and tricks my brain about like pretending it's ice cream and it works. So that is one point if you're doing Weight Watchers and um, it's barely any calories and it's a great protein if you're wanting a sweet snack instead of whatever you usually eat, which is like cookies or something like that after, or cupcake after lunch. Or if, you know, people are eating 
that sweet stuff around you at work, I would definitely, you know, get a little container and put your applesauce in it. Or of course you could get those little pouches they make now of applesauce, just make sure it's unsweetened. This is if you want to be losing drastic weight. If you just want to maintain, of course, get whatever sweetened stuff you want. But again, this video is about getting that weight to come up fast. Of course, you also want to make sure you're getting enough calories. So, you know, depending on if you're a man, woman, you should know what calories you should be eating. I know how many calories I should be eating. I know exactly, I stick with 26 points because I used to do Weight Watchers, so I've memorized it. But again, this is just an inside of, of how I eat when I'm trying to lose weight really fast. Um, and I guess, disclaimer, I have the week I did this, which was this week, I have lost five pounds this week. Again, I gained six pounds over the weekend, so I want to lose those six pounds this week. That's what I was, that was the focus. I did work out on, what day was that? I worked out on Monday. I went to the gym and did 40 minutes of cardio and came home and did a little bit of strength training. I danced around my kitchen from time to time, but other than that, I tried to keep the workouts out of it to give you an accurate um, assessment of this diet -y week of eating super, super clean. Again, this is, um, I shouldn't say clean because the clean police are gonna come after me. But what I mean is I'm not adding any sugar, sweets, I'm not going salty crazy, I'm not eating chips. Mmm, I love chips. I didn't even eat popcorn even though I did crave popcorn one night and I stopped myself. Um, so, snacks like that. Um, any kind of fruit can be your snack. I like to take a banana and cut it up into little, you know, cut it up and sprinkle some cinnamon on there or the PB2 or make PB2 with water and dip, 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 dip. Any kind of fruit with PB2 is gonna be my go-to because it's sweet and salty and I love it. Let's see, um, dinner. My dinner generally is the same base and I change up the flavors. So here we go. I will take ground chicken or chicken breast, whatever you feel like dealing with, and I will cook it up with half of an onion, red onion, yellow onion, whatever onion you want, and I saute that up, you know, nonstick, no help, no butter, no olive oils, nothing like that. Um, cook it up, and then I season it for what I'm doing with it. So if it's Mexican food and tacos, if the family's having tacos and I make them a beef or ground beef, then I have chicken, and I season it with cumin and all kinds of spices from the spice aisle, no added fats, just lots of flavors, lime juice, and cook that all up, and there I have it. And I, you know, salsa is great and so good for you, so that salsa on some lettuce, um, any kind of vegetables you want with it, peppers, onions, go crazy, just remember no added oils or anything to it, and I love Mexican food. Another thing I do is I take it and the chicken and I cook it up and I add Italian seasoning to it and garlic and I make it Italian and I add my sauce to it and I then make some frozen veggies. I, you know, defrost them, cook them up, add seasoning, salt, pepper, the garlic, all that yumminess, mix it in with the vegetables or zoodles. If you want to make zoodles, I just am lazy and don't make zoodles. And I do not have any pasta with it. Or... I make a sweet potato and I cook up my chicken with my onions. I love onions. Onions are really good for you. So cooking them up um, and I will season them simply. Salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder. Super, super simple. Layer that on top of my sweet potato, which I put salt and pepper on and I like to sprinkle, I'm, I'm in love with cinnamon. So I sprinkle it with cinnamon and then I have barbecue sauce. Now barbecue sauce is definitely added salt, added sugar. But if you use just like one tablespoon of it mixing with your chicken, it's amazing. And my favorite is Sweet Baby Ray's, but really it doesn't matter. And if you make your own barbecue sauce, go for it. I, again, do not make any of my sauces or anything. <clears throat> oh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to buy a bunch of stuff. Um, and then, of course, you can always Asian it up and have Chinese food or Asian food, Korean food, whatever, Japanese, whatever flavors you want, I switch it up. This again is the week I'm going crazy and being really, 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 really healthy. I eat a lot of vegetables, a lot of fruit, a lot of protein. I will also at night, if I know that I need to eat anything else for dessert, and I definitely need to still eat something that is protein-wise, again, if you're doing Weight Watchers and you need to add more points, or I just know I haven't eaten enough calories, I'll have my fruit with some more of the Greek vanilla yogurt. Super yummy. Again, I'm drinking water, 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 water. If you've watched my other videos, you know that water is super important. We get rid of our fat, it disappears, it turns into CO2, and we breathe it out as a, you know, a gas. Speaking of which, excuse me, I'm disgusting. Um, as a gas with 
our water and that vapor and we breathe it out. And again, we breathe it out at night. So you wanna make sure you're drinking enough water. Eight to 10 glasses, depending on how much coffee you drink too, you need to drink, drink, drink your water. And of course, sleep, sleep, sleep. Eight hours, please, nine would be better. My body would never let me just sleep nine, but you know, if you can do it, you will lose more weight. I mean, there are days I'll wake up at five and go back to sleep till 6.30. And I've, in the past, I've weighed myself at five, got back to sleep, weighed myself at 6.30 as a test, and I had lost more weight. So you definitely wanna get enough sleep. And if you're staying up, you're gonna eat more too. You're gonna to get hungry. The body is alive. It's eventually gonna be like, you need to eat, and you're gonna be eating at 11.30 at night you'd lose more weight if you didn't. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so what to eat when it is the evening? We're here, we're at the part of the video. What do you eat when you shouldn't eat, but you gotta eat because you're hungry? And I'm talking about it's not 10 o'clock, I'm talking about like it's like seven o'clock at night and you oops and you ate way too much today. <laughs> and you had an amazing dinner, but you're hungry again, and you, oh, I have an edge, and you are not supposed to eat. What are you supposed to eat? You're supposed to eat fruit or vegetables. I know, it's the worst news ever. <laughs> and if you say to yourself, like I have said to myself, have more unsweetened applesauce. I don't want unsweetened applesauce. I say to myself, then you're not that hungry. And this is literally how I talk to myself. Or anything you like that's vegetable fruit, not those avocados, but anything else, and not raisins, but anything else, grapes. I love grapes, and grapes are one of the sweetest, if not the sweetest fruit out there, oranges. And then again, if, um, if you haven't watched my other videos, I will fit in right here, just things you can do if you're like, I really shouldn't eat, and I really shouldn't eat at all, go to bed. Go to bed. If it's too early to go to bed, paint your nails. If you are a man and you don't want to paint your nails, go put on a crest white strip, or a woman, crest white strips, or any white strips that whiten your teeth. Go play a computer game. Do something with your hands, video games, something that you're not going to be eating and not going to have your hands free. TV is a killer. Go to bed. Get into bed. Watch something in bed. Watch Netflix on your phone. Watch something where you're not gonna get up shut the door get away from the kitchen I hope you like this video if you have questions comments or want to know more about what I eat pretty much that's what I eat what I just told you that's what I eat when I'm trying to be really really good otherwise I add in things you all would add in like an M&M here and there and brown rice instead of no carbs at all with the dinner I love to have rice um, with my Mexican food but there are so many times I just skip it and what I do too is I, if someone's has something in the house that I shouldn't eat and I'm trying to be really good, not only do I do those things I said, like go play a video game or go play a computer game, I will tell myself, you're gonna be so proud of yourself in the morning when you wake up and say, I'm so glad I didn't eat three cookies last night or any, any cookies because I'm so excited to weigh myself. Subscribe, like, comment, whatever you feel like doing. I'm always gonna be here telling you more stuff, but I will run out of ideas. If you have an idea for a video, comment below, and I will answer more questions and tell you more about myself. Sometimes I just don't think what I do is that interesting. I, is it really that awesome? Is it really that special? Aren't other people doing this? But I guess not. I will say, I am getting a cupcake Monday, maybe two. Bye!